Freddie Brent, we've seen a changing of the guard of some teams where a new Ready player is now the Ready. number one option. Well, I expected that this year we were going to have some of this take place. A lot of the reason why I would point to it is that you had nine new coaches in the NBA this year. So there's going to be opportunity on some of those teams for somebody to take advantage of a new offense, uh, a new way to, to play, a new way to get up and down the floor. And with that opportunity, some guys are taking full advantage I of it. I love the new opportunities, though, for some players that may have been pushed to the side of it. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I like the opportunity maybe for some of these teams to start changing some of the older guard with their squad, maybe come trade deadline. I think this year there, there's going to be a lot of movement come February because of those coaching changes. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Taking a look at the Bulls, Dunn and Levine are the guard set. Cortez and Markinen are at the three and the four. And it's Felicio in at the center position. So the Chicago Bulls are able to put up the first points on the board. Uh, just a threat to score off the dribble. Young is crafty at assessing the defense and exploiting them. Dunn passes to Felicio, and he banks in the layup. This is where you want the shots to come from, deep inside the paint and high percentage opportunities. Deadman a screen, and Bazemore kicks to Prince. It's Young on the wing, and it's Chicago with the rebound. And this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first meeting of the season. And they swept the season series against them last year. They really did have the upper hand. Now, here's Markinen. Boy, he just disappeared against Charlotte. They really needed him. Here's Prince. Doesn't go for him. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Outside Portis. There's the screen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, Greg, for Atlanta, it was out with the old and in with the new for the point guard position for the Hawks. And Hawks were able to trade down and still get the guy they wanted in, in Young. See him as an impact guard to build around for the future. Had to move Schroeder to free up space for Young, but this team now has a clear core to build around. So he gets them both. Young with the ball. There's the pass to Baseman. Prince against Portis. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Young's got five now. Fun to watch Kent Bazemore flesh out more of his overall game. Quick at getting passes over to his teammates. And here's Levine. 17 points for him last game against Charlotte. And Levine with the slam. And this is why defensively you can't afford to let Levine get to the rim. Too much explosive. And that last replay, courtesy of the Under Armour Hover Havoc, unleashing a little bit of chaos. Now, here is Young, pass to Bazemore. Passes to Prince. Shots good from Young. The Bulls have gone three or five, shooting the ball so far. They set the pick. Dunn kicks to Portis. Marking in from outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. A new head coach, Lloyd Pierce, is looking to bring a defensive approach to the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, Pierce has the resume you would want from a defensive coach. He came up in those teams in Memphis during the grit and grind time and learned some defensive techniques from Brett Brown in, in Philadelphia, helped them last year on the defensive end to be a much stingier defense in the league. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Justin Anderson comes in for Torian Prince. 
Carter. He's checked in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Young. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Lopez, he's checked in for Felicio. Jabari Parker comes in for Markinen. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Dunn. Stolen by Anderson. Levine against Land. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And Lynn is just fearless, always looking to get as close to the bucket as he can. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Here's Levine. Pass to Valentine. Six to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Levine can't hit. Hawks have gone 5-9 from the field here in the first. Anderson outside. Lopez with the steal. Parker outside. 111 left in the first quarter. To the inside. Lopez passes to Levine. And it's Lynn with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Levine against Land. Lopez sets a screen for Levine. The pass to Valentine. Lock at six. He kicks to Lopez. Terrific design on the pick foot, and he lays it in. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Lynn. Anderson outside. Lynn a screen. Here's Lynn. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Now here's Valentine. He's covered by Anderson. A shot by Valentine, no good. Shoots the three. Anderson can't get it to go. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. You may not remember Vince Carter traded on draft night for his college teammate, Antoine Jameson. But he talked about that crazy exchange. So as I'm sitting back there, it's like there's been a trade, you know, Toronto Raptors and Golden State make a trade for Antoine Jameson and Vince Carter right there. So our families are sitting right next to each other. So they're fixing the hat, and all of a sudden it's like, Psh, all right, here's your hat. All right, give us that hat. Move forward. So it was just the weirdest thing. The fifth and sixth picks in the draft, both of them went on to great careers. And draft day trades happen all the time, but being traded for your college teammate, a pick apart, that, that's pretty unique. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Ah, uh, the new era of NBA basketball playing outside in. We'll see if they can take advantage of that moving forward. We've got Carter. Anderson is out there with Len. Then it's Jeremy Lin. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Fires from deep. They get the rebound. It doesn't go for him. The Hawks leading by five. Knocked loose. Stolen by Holiday. Pushing it up. Lee Paz was put in just the right spot. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. Carter kicks to Lynn. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And for Lynn, missing the season last year, he's just glad to be back. His playmaking and creativity is something that this team needs. As long as he's healthy and playing aggressively, he'll be an effective guard option. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Lynn. Torian Prince comes in for Anderson. Young is subbed in for Carter. 
So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Felicio's checked in for Lopez. Lowry Marketing comes in for Parker. Portis is checked in for Justin Holiday, And Chris Dunn subbed in for Zach Levine. And with Lynn, he made a point upon returning from injury uh, saying he will not change how he plays. Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, they, they'll shy away from contact after experiencing a torn patella like Lynn did, but he knows that he is at his best going at defenders and absorbing that contact. He, he said he'll try and be more aware of how he lands, but has no plans of changing his game. Taking a look now at some numbers for Dunn. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 13 points per, six assists and four rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game, a great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Atlanta making a switch here. Bazemore is checked in. Now, here's Dunn. 11 points for him in that last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Loved his passing tonight as well. He was just cutting the defense to pieces out there. Portis against Bazemore. Bulls trail by seven. Now Portis. Pass to Felicio. Here's Dunn. A three-pointer no good. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Young outside. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Prince. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. It's good. The big changes in defensive rules happened right in the middle of your playing days. How did people initially react to those? Well, a lot of guys had three quick fouls, Kevin. Yes, they're, they're out hand-checking and pushing guys around. And they say, what do you mean I can't do this anymore? I get paid to push guys around. Uh, but after a little while, uh, obviously, guys stepping off and understanding positions on the floor where you could get away with more physical play than you can out in front with point guards, obviously, and having refs' eyes on them or down on the block. Atlanta calls timeout. And sometimes you just want a reminder of what our objectives are tonight. Yeah, get everyone on the same page and point it in the right direction. Now let's jump in for Jeremy Lynn. And to look out the four areas where shots can come from, the paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Hawks. And they really shot away from the mid-range. That's a new school style. And looking for shots beyond the arc and at the rim, those tend to be far more efficient. Here's Felicio. Portis lays it up off the glass. And now it's just a four-point Hawks lead. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The kick out to Young. And yes, it's good. Young's got 10 points in the game. Now the defense looking at him like a Rubik's Cube. They cannot figure him out. He continues to light him up from the field. More importantly, they're winning. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And for Trey Young, it's a little unfair that he's already being compared to Steph Curry. Scouts are always going to look for comparisons. And I'm not saying Young is Curry, but many of the strengths and weaknesses are similar. The, the size and athleticism, the insane range, and both have that it factor. Here's Prince. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And you know what? They were giving away points missing at the line. A big factor in the outcome. I'm just wondering if this home crowd and the energy worked against them in this one. They might have gotten in their heads just a little bit. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now, here's Portis. Passes it to Felicio. 
back to Portis. Out to the right wing. Just four to shoot. Alicio, no good. I'd just like to see the defensive effort get better for their ball club. They can't expect guys to miss the mid-range Jays every time. Such a creative ball handler. Young has an ability to carve out room for himself with his dribble. Valentine passes to Felicio. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Trey Young. The Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first free throw is good. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Lopez, he's checked in for Felicio. Jabari Parker comes in for Markinen. Justin Holliday's checked in for Portis. And Levine subbed in for Chris Dunn. A chance at a two for one if they want it. If I'm them, I try it. Playing a screen. 35 seconds left in the first half. Shots good from Young. Man, he is in the zone right now on offense, guys, building off that efficient first quarter. Levine against Young. Parker outside. Lopez inside. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. That's a gorgeous assist. Outstanding at finding his guys in the spots where they want the basketball. Young with the ball. 15 points in the game. Yes, that goes in. An effective multi-dimensional scorer. Young is incredible at turning on the Jets when he's feeling. Lopez, a screen on Young. And so it's Atlanta. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the... Trey Young was the story in the first quarter. He ended up with 17 points and one steal. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Atlanta played? One guy I'm looking at right now, Trey Young. He was unbelievable. Deep it. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. And we welcome you back with a look at Phillips Arena, such a terrific location here in the heart of downtown Atlanta. All right, the second half beginning in just a moment. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. And so far, he's giving them great production from deep. They've been able to kind of spread the floor because of it. Well, his shooting has fueled the offense, and we'll see if they can get him the ball to see if he can keep it going in the second half. So the Bulls five right now. Dunn and Levine are the guard set. Portis and Markinen are at the three and the four. And it's Felicio in at the center, locking down the middle. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. That's tipped. Young with the steal. And now Young running the floor all by himself. Good. Young's got the lead up to nine now for the Hawks. You know, you can't afford to let Young slip by you, especially in these open floor situations. That is inviting trouble. Kick by Markinen. Shoots from 14, and that's a foul called on Lowry Markinen. That'll be his second foul of the game. And you can live with those over-the-back calls sometimes because at least it's an effort play. You're trying to extend the possession so you appreciate the effort. Better just to head down the court sometimes and not give up a team foul in that situation. And the jam by Levine. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Young dishes to Prince. Deadman a screen. Prince kicks to Deadman. The Hawks working the ball around. Here's Young. That one doesn't go. And it's Chicago the other way. Pass to Fortis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. 
Brent, we have Biggs playing a different kind of game in the NBA now. It feels like skill is taking over, and even last year in the playoffs, so much talk for us about the idea of not being able to play a big center, right? Not being able to play a post-up sure. center or a, a rim-protecting center. These players have to be mobile. They have to be able to set screens and roll down the lane, and they have to be able to switch out, most importantly, defensively to guard the most talented school. <laughs> okay. That's how you attack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> and they've only connected on one of four to start the half. Their offense is sputtering just a little bit here. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Dunn. And Dunn with the slam. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. I just think it was a matter of getting recomposed, altering their game plan just a little bit. They look completely in sync now. Deadman gets it to Bazeman. Now the pass to win. And there it is for him. Ben's got eight points. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Chicago calls timeout. Atlanta making some changes. Alex Lenz checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Alex Anderson in for Kent Bazemore. And Chicago also making a switch. Parker's checked in. Picked by Markinen. Bean passes to Fortis. Parkin in a screen on Len. Portis kicks to Dunn. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Atlanta leading by three. It's Prince on the wing. A three-pointer, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Portis tips it back in. Portis has got six here in this quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Atlanta's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Pass to Anderson. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. Lynn's got three assists tonight. And really, Lynn has a terrific feel for this offense. Just seems to know whenever one of his guys is open. Down outside. Parkin in a screen on Prince. Prince against Dunn. Shot clock at six. Here's Markinen. From deep three-point range, Portis can't get it to go. And truth is, though he misses that one, it's a shot he normally makes. Yeah, he has that kind of range, but maybe not that time the best judgment. Even with the defense all over him, Lynn buries the J. Outstanding concentration on those kinds of shots. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. The Hawks leading by three. Inside. Eight feet away. And Atlanta again with the bucket. A pretty good concentration there. The more touches Lynn is getting on the inside, it seems like the confidence is growing. Even after a number of years in this league, Glenn still feels like a developmental project. Well, out of the five positions, centers seem to be not only the latest guys to develop, but also with the way the game is going, you wonder what their position is in today's game. You look at Marcus Gasol, he didn't become elite until he turned about 30 years old. Hassan Whiteside, DeAndre Jordan, it takes some time, Kevin. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Lopez, he's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Denzel Valentine comes in for Bobby Portis. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Chris Dunn. Great positioning on the putback. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be seen. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. And this is where you have to sharpen up your passing. That's a careless turnover. For the Hawks, John Collins comes in for Carter. Young is subbed in for Jeremy Lin. Lopez with the block. They retain possession. And the dunk by Lin. This guy's got a great nose for the offensive glass, and I like how he used those long arms that time to reach up, snag that rebound. The 
Levine dishes to Lopez. Parker up top. Pulls it up. And he gives the jumper to drop. Parker's got his first bucket of the night. Well, Jabari was ready to fire that one. You could see feet set. He let it rip. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And Levine throws it down. Commending the unselfish play there. What vision on that pass. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Young against Levine, and Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. So it's the Hawks. Count that one. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. Lopez a screen. Bean passes to Valentine. Outside, Levine. Down low. Count it, and the Atlanta lead has been cut to just seven points in the basket from Parker. Pretty calm in the paint there from Jabari, taking his time and getting the shot that he wanted. And so it's Atlanta heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll return shortly. haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Chicago calls timeout. Yeah, I mean, it's an opportunity to kind of regroup and discuss ways to maximize these possessions. And therein lies the trick, discussing ways to be aggressive, but not committing turnovers. 
Chris Dunn's checked in for Chicago. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Hey, guys. Well, Fred Hoiberg was talking to his team during the timeout. He is not happy with the turnovers. He said, we have got to get some shots. It's as simple as that, guys. Play smart and value the basketball. We'll see if the message sunk in, Kevin. Parker, a screen on Collins. Clock is at three. Levine for three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's his first foul. Prince is checked in for the Hawks. Atlanta leading by 12. Young outside. Kicks it to Dedman. Prince outside. There's a screen by Collins. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And they still need to step up just a little bit. They have the lead. But he needs to find himself out there. Portis the screen. Here's Felicio. Rebound Atlanta. Deadman's got three rebounds now in this one. The feed to Prince. Takes it off the glass. And the Hawks lead by 14. But he has good size in his position. And Torian Prince, even though traffic around him doesn't speed him up. Nice shot there. Here's Dunn. Well timed pass. And he goes straight to the bucket for the layup and really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Atlanta's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And Young, here we go. Who's back up? In the corner, Collins with it. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Shots good by Deadman. But if you don't box him out, you're a dead man. Bulls trail by 14. Dunn dishes to Levine. He kicks to Parker. And here's Levine. Parker sets the screen for Levine. Puts up a three. The offensive rebound. Fires the three. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker. Parker's got his fourth assist in this one. The stretch forward, Jabari Parker seeing the floor well and then whipping the ball around with precision. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Trey Young. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball, a little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. Well, he needed a game like this badly. He's been struggling for a while now, but tonight he broke out of that slump in style. Pays more. Rebound by the Bulls. Markinen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Stolen by Collins. To the inside. And that's Prince that time on the assist by Baysmore. Baysmore has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Bulls trail by 13. Markinen kicks to Dunn. Back to Markinen. And stolen by Prince. Here's Young. Finished off the break. Young's got 21. Well, Torian Prince is strong, but he's also got big, powerful hands. And tried that one away. Passes it to Felicio. And there's the rebound by Dedman. Dedman's got his sixth rebound on the night. And, and so just the rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Hawks. They really lit it up in this one. Fantastic offensive performance. Definitely just simply shot the ball well. One of those games to be proud of. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Trey Young. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Yeah, the onslaught continues. He's been unstoppable now for a couple of nights. Well, a tip of the cap to the coaching staff here. They're recognizing how well he's playing, so the game plan has been built around it. Prince's shot is good. And they've earned this one, showing an ability to, to dominate in front of their home crowd. 
Yeah, tick-tock and not much time on the clock left. Double-digit lead and coming up Roses. Dunn passes to Levine. There's 42 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Back to Dunn. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Just grown man work from Dunn inside. His incredible athleticism really helping get him these types of shots. There's a screen by Collins. And Young kicks to Dedman. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Prince's shot is good. And this is how you close out a game, not taking any chances. Yeah, you got to be relentless in this game or the tide can turn on you. Not here, not tonight. Dunn passes to Levine. Off target from outside. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. And what I like best is that he does it completely under control. Really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And the comparisons to Steph Curry, it's understandable. Young's shooting ability is off the charts. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers.